this is lecture 2 on non resume missing process in lecture 2 we are going to see the abrasive jet measuring process first let me know what is the concept of material removal in abrasive jet machining high velocity of abrasive particles remove the material by micro cutting action as well as the brittle fracture of the work material the gas with the abrasive particles uh, comes and strikes on the object the micro action is takes places on the object and material is removed the abrasive jet is nothing but it is a mixture of gas or air or abrasive particles gas is used as a carbon dioxide or nitrogen or compressed air we can use that's a selection of abrasive particles depend upon hardness of the material metal uh, material removal rate of the work is most uh, commonly uh, aluminium aluminium oxide or silicon carbide are used these are the most of uh, common work pieces let we see the components for the construction of HIM first one is compressor uh, compressor uh, is used to pressurize the gas and next one is control valve control valve is used to uh, regulate the pressure and next one is filter filter it filters the gas before entering to the compressor and the mixing chamber and pressure regulator the uh, pressure gauges and pressure regulators they are used to control the pressure and uh, regulate the flow rate of abrasive jet and next one is a mixing chamber it is used to mix the gas and the abrasive particles and uh, next one is a vibrator it is provided below the mixing chamber to control the abrasive uh, powder feed rate in the mixing chamber it is used to uh, mix uh, control the mixing ratio of air that is gas and abrasive particles and this one is a control cutter it, uh, it we can uh, control by uh, a foot uh, and next one is a hand holder it, it is uh, controlled by hand only and next one is a nozzle it forces the abrasive jet over the workpiece a nozzle is made of hard and uh, resistant material like a tungsten tungsten carbide let me see the process parameter and machining characteristics of HIM compressor the uh, source is air or carbon dioxide nitrogen we can use and density is 1.3 kg per meter cube and velocity is 500 to 700 meter per second and pressure is 2 to 10 bar we are going to maintain for cutting the object and flow rate will be 5 to 30 liters per minute and life is 10 to 300 hours the abrasive particles uh, for abrasive jet machining is uh, maybe aluminum oxide or silicon carbide the shape is uh, maybe a spherical or irregular shape the size of the abrasive, uh, abrasive particle should be minimum 10 maximum 50 micrograms and mass flow rate is 2 to 20 gram per minute it should mix with the gas and abrasive jet uh, the velocity will be 100 to 300 meter per second and stand up distance between the workpiece and the nozzle is 0.5 to 5 m the impediment angle is 60 degree to 90 degree and nozzle the nozzle will wear out frequently because the abrasive particles hit the nozzles so it will wear out the material should be very harder uh, for that we are using the tungsten uh, tungsten carbide tools uh, nozzles we are going to use the diameter of the nozzle will be 0.2 to 0.8 m the cutting operations can do by the HIM is uh, the operations can the do by HIM is cutting and cleaning drilling and boring these operations uh, example for uh, abrasive jet machining and let me see the advantages of HIM a good and smooth surface finish can obtain the workpiece surface is cleaned automatically because we are going to use the water there 
and low rate of heat production because the uh, heat will be absorbed by the water. A disadvantage of HIMS, low material removal rate and nozzle also we are so maintenance is needed for the nozzle uh, not suitable for the soft material because it will uh, wear. So we should not go for the soft material. Thank you.